We're going to continue working on these lithium cells and see if we can reconfigure uh, the packs into something that's more usable for a power wall. Now some of you guys had some really great suggestions for me which I'll be implementing. Uh, first off, thank you Sean. Uh, Sean let me know that I did not have to actually cut this bus bar with a grinder. Uh, I was actually able to just get in here with the 5-in-1 tool and slide the 5-in-1 tool in here and pry apart the cell tab. I was able to pry that apart which was fantastic. I did not realize that these spot welds were so weak. So I was able to pry them apart and now the cells are out of here and the bus bar is intact and uh, no metal shavings and no gr angle grinder needed to cut that out. So thank you very much Sean. Over here we have a 14S. So 14 cells in series which I think will work out really well with the number of cells that I have and uh, voltage for using these guys. These are 3.6 volt nominal cells. 9, 10, 11. So 11 cells, then 12, and 13, 14. This is a good cell. I'm going to line the positive tab with the negative tab over here so that these are in series with each other. So I've got these two cells and this positive is going to line up with this negative and it's going to be perfect as far as in series with each other and be another 14S. However, uh, this ring that's on here right now, this is one that I cut with an angle grinder, the bus bar. So I, uh, <laughs> that was um, before I, I learned Sean's trick. So what I'm going to do is pry this apart and I'm going to substitute it with this plastic ring because I have a bus bar on both sides. See that just broke the first spot weld. Second. I can't believe how easily these are coming apart. I thought these spot welds would have held stronger. Alright, so now this ring should come right off. There we go. So I'm not going to use this one, at least in that, config, in that spot, I'm going to use this ring because it has the bus bar that has a, it's full, it's a full bus bar, I didn't mess that one up. In there properly I can set this on, so I can just take this and set it right on top. I think these are probably touching each other, even though I haven't soldered them yet. To the last one, 48.9. I have two plastic rings left that are both uh, messed up from my angle grinding experience. So I'm going to pull these bus bars off of here and these plastic rings will just be spacers. I have this big cutting board and it turns out that these uh, cells when I measured them, the cells are half an inch thick and this is a half inch thick cutting board. Uh, so we are good to use this cutting board as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to cut three spacers because I have removed a total of three cells. Two bad ones and one good one that is going to be used over in the other pack. So I've cut up the cutting board <laughs> into a, a few of these pieces and I think it's going to work out well. Get my gloves back on. I did not wear these gloves when I was using the table saw. Uh, it's important not to wear gloves when you use the table saw. I made that mistake in one of my past videos and I'm really sorry for that. Uh, but that's what you guys are there for. <laughs>
get these to sit in flush. We'll just turn it a little bit. Sorry, but for gripping these things, I'm going to have to take these gloves off. Okay, so we've got all of our bolts in. Uh, let's take a look at what our voltage is. 48.7, 48.8, and over here, same thing. 48.7. So we got two 48 volt packs. So all of these are good. Then we have our gaps in here. And then over on this side, we have one, two, and three spots that I have to solder those together. All right. I'm going to tip it upright so anything that wants to drip out uh, can drip down. So I'm going to be using some of this solder paste because it has a low temperature for melting. Okay. I'm going to try to pinch these together a little bit. Here are my solder joints. They did not hold. I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of different solution. I wasn't getting it hot enough, I think. Uh, I tried putting a soldering iron on both sides of whatever little section I was trying to solder at the time. I tried using this little lighter, which has a kind of a windproof tip to it. So I don't know. Uh, anybody have any ideas? I'd love to hear them. Thanks a lot for watching.